Hey guys, it's your girl Shala, P R O M O S T K, Shala's Creations Way. And are y'all ready for some good old soul food meat? Oh yeah, we got two. We have us uh, some good old pork neck bone, and we got some good old pigtails. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how I season my meat and show you the goodness that come out of that oven. And we'll be ready to eat at P R O M O S T K. Yeah, oh yeah in the neighborhood and go ahead now and go to big O live and join for free and guess what let them know promo sdk sent you i got my link listed below with the coldest water bottle as well just know that show 10 i'll get you in oh yeah Hey guys, it's your girl Shella, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shella's Creations Way. Guess what, you guys? We got some soul food up in here. We're going to be doing us some soul food. Oh, yeah. Some good old soul food. We got us some good old pork neck bones. Mm. Y'all see those pork neck bones? Oh, yeah, you see that. And we got some good old pigtails. All right, so we're going to get this party started y'all saw all my seasonings and everything that i'm gonna be putting in here if you haven't already hey 10 shell of 10 to get you in if you don't have that coldest water so what we're gonna do you guys we're gonna go ahead let's put all the seasonings over here we're gonna do our wets first which you know of course our wets is gonna be that good old onion juice that we're gonna be putting on this oh yeah so we're just gonna juice this onion and we're gonna be putting this juice on both Everything that you see out here is going to be going on both meats. It's soul food meat, southern pork. Oh, yeah. We're going to get it on everything. And you guys can have a medium large onion or a large onion. To me, more onion, the better. Especially when you're juicing it. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna juice as much onion as we can between both these meats.
All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna cut the rest of this onion up in here. Oh yeah, get all the rest of this onion cut. Diced up. Don't have to be perfect. It's gonna be in here cooking real nice and slow. So by being in the oven cooking nice and slow, uh, these onions are gonna have a really, really, really good flavor and softness to them. And they'll just blend right on in with the meat. Yeah, see this Put on here. Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're just finish cutting these onions up with the bottom so that we make sure that each pan of meat gets the same amount of onions. There we go. Just make sure you get my little, another little rub shot. All right, so that looks good. All right, when my onions start, when my eyes start burning, that's when I know I've done enough onions. All right, let's bring these pots, these bowls back over here. All right, get these onions in here. All right, there we go. Now, what we're gonna do is take our seasonings We're gonna get my seasonings, which is, again, onion powder. So we'll go ahead and put the onion powder in here. And remember, it already has that zest, so that's gonna make it even better than that onion. We're gonna do some red pepper flakes, y'all. Mm, about a good tablespoon in each bowl. We're gonna do some paprika because you know we gotta have that color. Mm -hmm. Tablespoon of paprika, you guys. All right. We're gonna get some good old cayenne pepper because you know we gotta have a little spice in our life, right? So we will give like a teaspoon of that because we already got the red pepper flakes. And then we're gonna have some good old seasoning salt. So about a tablespoon of that. And uh, we got some garlic powder. And let me get some of that garlic powder out of here. I don't know why it always seems to want to harden up, but we'll get that out of there. And I'll also do some minced garlic since my garlic powder seems to want to act up. So we'll we'll go ahead and use the minced garlic. So we'll put about two tablespoons of that in here. Okay, it's about two tablespoons. And two tablespoons in there. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna actually take some of this good old Lips hot sauce. Uh, Cause I seem to find out that Lips hot sauce tastes really, really good on pork. So we're gonna put about two tablespoons in each and we're gonna put some vinegar and this is organic apple cider vinegar. about 
a quarter cup in each. My husband says he wants a lot more vinegar in it. So we'll, we'll try that. And then we're gonna do a black pepper. A tablespoon or so of that. Now what we're gonna do, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna mix these babies up. Go ahead and mix up these pork neck bones. Get all that goodness, all that goodness in here. I smell that vinegar. And we're gonna keep all this juice, you guys. We're not gonna get rid of any juice. We're keeping all this juice. Mm -hmm. Make sure you rub that seasoning all in that meat. that meat that be looking like this. Look at this big old, look at that big old pork neck bone. This some big, it's bigger than my hand. Look at this. That's some big meat here, guys. Some big meat. Some big meat. All right, let's get to the pigtails. Who like pigtails out there? We're gonna roast these babies in the oven, low and slow, for about five hours. Four to five hours, four to five hours, you guys. And um, it's gonna come together for our good old Southern meal. So I want you guys to make sure if you haven't already subscribed to this channel and go over to my Primo STK, Eating Good in the Neighborhood, where we're gonna mukbang these things and subscribe to that channel too. Oh yeah. Can't let all this goodness pass you by, now can you? Not all this soul food goodness. All right, see that pigtail? That's what y'all want it to look like. See that? Oh yeah. All right, so let's get these in the pan. Um, right here. I'm gonna put the pigtails on one side and I'm gonna put the um, neck bone on the, other, on the other side. And when we do, we're gonna put the, we're gonna put the meat side up, okay? We're gonna put the meat side up. All right. The meat side is gonna always go up. The bone side is gonna go down. So that's what we're gonna do. Bone side down. So that bone side there. All right, so we got that half over here. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the pigtails on the other half. All right. And the way they have them cut, you want that flat side down. Just like it is, flat side down. And remember, since all this seasoning is all the same seasoning, then it doesn't matter that we're gonna pour all this goodness on top of all this meat, okay? And this is a perfect fit, you guys, a perfect fit. Perfect, you guys. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna pour the rest of this good old meat liquor on top of there. Oh yeah, giving it to it all. All right, and then good old meat liquor over here. This meat. Now we're gonna add about a cup of water and I'm gonna put the cup of water in these bowls because we want all this good seasoning. We don't wanna waste this seasoning, guys. Alright, let's get all this. Get 
because we need to make sure we get that water in there too. Oh yeah. All right, see how they got that covered? That's how you want to look. When you put your, put your stuff together. That's how you want it to look. Now, I'm just gonna do a little shaky shake. A little shake, shake, shake. Let me get my little spoon to make sure. I hope y'all see this. Yeah, y'all see it. Oh yeah, make sure you get all this goodness going in this pan. Mm -hmm. All right. Show y'all this onions everywhere that needs to go. So good, and it's just raw meat, y'all. <laughs> Looks so good. All right, now what we're gonna do now? We're gonna get some of our butter, margarine, pockets, whatever you want, and we're gonna put some little pats. We're just gonna drop some little pats on here. Say about a half, at least a half a stick of butter. You can do more; it ain't gonna hurt you. You can do a little more, but we just want at least a half a half a stick. I'll probably do the whole, my whole stick here. Cause I like the richness of the butter when it renders and it's good sauce that's gonna juice up once this meat starts cooking. So yeah, we're gonna put the whole stick in here. Mm -hmm. All right. Find me some more bacon spots. All right, so we're gonna put it in the oven for about 300, um, about 300, between 300 and 350 degrees, depending on how your oven cooks. And we will be back at the table. For you, it'll only be a few seconds. For us, it'll be about four hours. And I'm gonna just seal this with aluminum foil. See that? Oh, and if it's your first time here on my channel, remember the shiny side goes face down. Shiny side goes face down. That keeps everything cooking as if it was in an incubated oven. So yeah, dull side is at the top. The shiny side is in the undercover. Okay? So, and just remember, that's a tip I learned a long time ago. The shine, that's a reason why you have a little pool that's one side shiny and one side dull. You want the, you want everything to come from the bottom and stay. Everything from the top to maybe go in there and then everything stays almost just like an, uh, if it's in the oven all in on. Give it a little shake shake. Remember that shake shake? All right. Going into the oven. All right, you guys. It's time to check the meat oh yeah it's like an unveiling and an unboxing you guys here we go Ooh, look at that Ooh, look at that oh wow does that look delicious or what or what look at that oh wow all right so now that I have the aluminum foil off Oh wow, these things are tender window. Now I'm gonna put them back in the oven. They've been in there for about, let me see. They've been in there now about three and a half hours. So it still has about, about 30 more minutes, you guys. Mm, 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 mm. I tell y'all, this good old broth right here. Mm, that is some good, 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 good. And it's gonna go in some. It's gonna go in something good too, y'all. <laughs> All right. So I just wanna show y'all something. Y'all see how the aluminum foil that we had a shiny side down, how it almost looked like it was browning itself because the shiny side was doing its job. Okay. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven for the last 30 minutes. Mm. I just wanna take a fork and just. Let me just grab his knife and just see how tender it is. Oh, wow. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ooh, I can't even, I can't even lift it up, y'all. <laughs> it's so tender. Oh, 
Oh yeah. So we're gonna keep that in the oven for another um, 30 more minutes. It's actually done now. We can we can eat this now. But I just want to put it in there for the next 30 minutes. Uh, let's keep it at the same temperature um, with the lid off. All right. So we'll be back in a second for you guys. All right, you guys. So it's done. It's done. It's done. We got these good old pork neck bones. Mm, 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 mm. And these good old pigtails, y'all. You guys don't know what this stuff tastes like. Oh my goodness. Y'all come on over to the house of Bromo SDK. Eating good in the neighborhood. And let's get some of this good stuff. Oh yeah. It is hot and ready. All right, you guys, so all that good old broth that you saw in there is now being stored because I'm going to use it for something else. Mmm, maybe even some good old Shellas Creations rice. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mmm, mmm, good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. If you want some, come get some. Some, come get some. Because we're going to mukbang this thing. P R O M O S T K. Eating good in the neighborhood. We'll be waiting for you. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, it's your girl Shella. P R O M O S T K. Shella's Creations Way. And you're talking about the best, I mean, the best old fashioned southern soul food collard greens right here at your table. Come on and join us. These are the ingredients. I'm gonna show y'all how I put it all together and y'all come eat with us at Promo SEK, eating good in the neighborhood. Oh yeah. Don't forget to join Promo SDK on Bego Live. Oh yeah, download that app. All right, you guys, it's collard green time. Who's ready for collard greens? P R O M O S C K, show the creations way. You guys, I have blanched my greens. These are fresh greens that I blanched. I didn't understand about blanching until I got older, but you know, when you learn from your grandma, your mom, blanch your greens. So I've done that already. And that's pretty much just boiling them for about 15, 20 minutes and then um, letting them drain. And now we're ready to put them in a pot with everything else that's going to go into seasoning. So these are the seasonings, you guys, and this is ham, some good old ham that we're going to season it uh, off of a ham bone, and uh, let's get to it. All right, you guys, so first off, what we're going to do is we're going to take our meat, our ham. It was frozen. You know what? We, we get that Sunday ham or that Christmas ham or that whatever kind of ham, and you freeze that bone. Oh yeah, freeze that bone and freeze the meat and all that goodness that come off of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, add water. Yeah, we're gonna add water to this and we're gonna build our broth off of this, off of this um, ham or pork. So I'm gonna add some water to it and we're gonna let it come to a boil for about, um, 45 minutes to an hour because we want our water we want that good old water to have that good old seasoning of that pork so we'll put about eight cups of water in there and let it boil down with the lid off boil down with the lid off okay so we got that in there and then we're going to go ahead and put our Goya ham seasoning in there with it. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and put some more seasoning in here as it gets rich and frothy. And so we're going to put some Badia Complete in there. Because we definitely want our water to be seasoned. You can always go back and check it and taste it for later. We're gonna put some onion powder. 
And you're going to put about a tablespoon of, of all these seasonings, you guys. We're going to put some red pepper flakes. Watch out. All right. Let me take the lid off. I want to pour and get at least a tablespoon in there. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. And black pepper. And y'all know when y'all have cornbread, uh, when y'all have collard greens, you gotta have cornbread. So y'all go and look at my recipe for my cornbread because I will be making cornbread. I won't be doing another cornbread uh, recipe because I have it on my cooking channel. So check it out. All right, so we're gonna let that come to a boil and it's gonna boil. Um, it's gonna be on high for about 15 minutes and then I'll put the heat down to about low to medium and let it just simmer, simmer, simmer until this good old broth gets flavored with that ham. See you back in a few and then we'll add the greens. Oh yeah. All right, as you guys have seen, the pork ham has boiled down. You can look at the rim of the hair and see how much water has boiled out. Now we're gonna add our collard greens. Oh yeah, now we're gonna add our collard greens. Mix it around. Make sure we get the collard greens mixed in with that good old brothy juice. Once we do this, we'll add uh, about a cup, cup of water, and then we'll let it finish cooking. Well, actually, we'll add about two cups of water. How about that? Because it's going to cook down some more. All right. About two cups of water. We'll now add our sea salt. My teaspoon of sea salt. And we're going to also add about a teaspoon and a half of sugar. My mama always used to say, a little salt and a little sugar always gives it that added flavor. So we'll put a, a tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon and a half to, to maybe a tablespoon. And that should do it. That's gonna definitely make that broth pop out. And while we're in here, we're gonna add just a little bit of a little bit of olive oil. There we go. Tablespoon of that will do the trick. Now we're gonna cover this baby up and let it finish slow cooking for about 30 more minutes. All right, look at that broth. Look at that. Y'all see that good old rich broth? Mmm, that's gonna be so good. All right, so we're gonna do what we do. We're gonna put the saran wrap on here. And we're gonna let it finish cooking. And we'll see you back once it's done. All right. All right, you guys, so now we're back at the collard greens. Let's take a look. Ooh, look at that goodness, y'all. Do y'all see that? Mm, 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 mm. Do y'all see that? Wow. Let me give y'all a closer look, because I really think y'all need to see that goodness in this pot. 
Y'all talk about some good old soul food greens, y'all. Ooh, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Let me give y'all, let me give y'all a picture of this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at these greens. Oh, my goodness. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see them greens? Oh, my goodness. All right. I wish y'all were here to taste it, but guess what? Shell's Creations way. It's, these are some awesome greens. Now, I'm going to get you a little closer. I'm going to get you a little closer. So, I want you to see this goodness. This goodness in a pot. This soul food. The soul food collard greens, y'all. Mm. Y'all see that? Ooh, it smells. Ooh, y'all try to eat some of the pot? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I gotta eat some of this. Mm. 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 Ooh. Lord, it's Jesus. Mm. And look at that. Y'all see that? Mm. Mm -hmm. Y'all see how that pork done got all up in this meat, though. You guys, y'all know anything about Southern Greens? These are the best greens ever. I mean, you talk about your grandma greens, your mama greens. These are the greens. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, I can just eat this whole pot. Oh, yeah. Come on and join us. P-R-O-M-O-S-E-K. Eating good in the neighborhood. Oh. All right, you guys, I didn't um, show you guys me making the cornbread for our meal, but check my recipe out on how I make my cornbread, and you guys can have the same awesome goodness at your table. Now, it just came out of the oven, so I'm just going to put some butter on top, and we're going to be ready to eat and mukbang bang this thing. Again, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, eating good in the neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, it's your girl Shella, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shella's Creations Way. Y'all join us, join me as I prepare these great northern beans in a stew. Oh And these are your ingredients. And stay tuned to the end, and you'll see exactly how it all came together. And come join Promo STK and download the app of Bego Live. Oh, yeah. Hey, you guys. We're going to be making northern bean soup or stew. Northern bean soup or stew. Oh, yeah. We got our northern beans that's been soaking overnight. We have our potatoes. We have our carrots onion and all of our seasonings and guess what you guys this is going to be meatless oh yeah check out my large llama bean meatless video and you'll know exactly what i mean oh yeah all right you guys so first things first right now i have these carrots i've already um taken this the outside skin layer off they've been washed I'm going to cut them in, uh, let's see how I'm going to cut these babies. I'm going to cut them in this thickness, and then I'm just going to cut it in fours. So, as you'll see right here, I'll be cutting it like this, and then again, like that. So, we have fours. All right. You're going to cut them about an inch in thickness, and then you'll take and just cut them straight down the middle. That's what we're going to be doing with these carrots. When we're done with the carrots, we'll come back and show you guys what we're going to be doing with the potatoes. See you in a second. All right, so we got all the carrots 
chopped up in the bowl. Now we're gonna start with the potatoes. We have a total of five nice sized potatoes and we're gonna dice those up as well. Let me show you guys the desired. Okay, so this is the way, this is the thickness we need right here. We're gonna pretty much cut them the same, like if you were making potato salad, come like in little dice chunks like this, similar to your carrot chunks. So you want your veggies to all be similar in size, okay? So I'm gonna just be dropping these in my container of water because you don't want your potatoes to brown. And I'm gonna finish dicing these potatoes up and I will be back when I'm done. And we'll go on to the next vegetable, which will be our onion. Oh yeah. All right, so we're on the last of our potatoes. All right, so how we're gonna do these? We're just gonna dice these up as well. You can use two onions if you want, but we're just gonna use So now we have all of our veggies in the bowl. Our potatoes, our carrots, and now our onions. So what we're gonna do now, I've already rinsed my beans off. I'm just gonna pour the excess water off. And as you see my beans, they are right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the pot and let the beans start uh, cooking with the seasonings and we'll be back. And this is a 32 ounce, so it's two pounds of the Great Northern Beans. Now you wanna make sure that when you're doing your beans, you have at least an inch of water over your beans. So as you can see, that's not quite an inch. So we're gonna add some more water to the beans. So now, let's just say we need at least an inch of water over your beans. Now we're gonna start adding our seasonings. We're gonna put our black pepper. That's about maybe two tablespoons of black pepper. We're gonna put our onion powder. about two tablespoons of onion powder. Okay. We're gonna put 
our celery seed. Since we're not adding celery, we're going to use celery seed. That's like a tablespoon of celery seed. We're going to use some Goya. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're using Goya, but right now I'm using Badia Complete Seasoning. Again, tablespoon. Okay. Uh, we're going to put two bay leaves in here. Two bay leaves. One and two. Okay. Next, we're going to put sea salt. And the, um, the badia already has um, salt in it. So we're only going to use about maybe a, um, just one tablespoon of this sea salt. All right. That should be good. And then... Because this is a meatless northern bean, we're going to add ham flavored goya. And we're going to put about two packs in there. And get the box open. All right. So we're going to use both packs. And that is two. Now we're gonna give it a good old fashioned stir. Like so. I'm gonna put the lid on these and I'm gonna let them uh, come to a boil and then I'll lower the temperature. I'll keep the temperature on medium high while it's boiling. Then I'll turn the heat down to about medium low. And then for about maybe an hour, and then I'll add my vegetables in it because we want to make sure that all that goodness gets in these beans. And then we'll add our veggies to it. And by then, the broth will have thickened a little bit, and the water will have dissipated. Okay? All right, so we'll see you guys in a few. And you guys, my last and final seasoning, oh yeah, it's my meat liquor that I have frozen, and I thawed it out so I can pour it in here. So yeah, that's my meat liquor, you guys. That's my secret ingredient. That's my secret ingredient. We'll give it that final stir. All right, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shellos Creations way. And there goes that lid. All right, see you in a few. All right, you guys. This broth is looking so good. You see how it's cooked down? Do you see these beans? You see these great northern beans? Now, remember, I showed you guys we got two pounds of this. And because it's just me and Frank, we can't eat two pounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take half of this and put half of it in another pot. And these veggies right here, I've already strained the liquid out of them. 
I'm gonna put half of these veggies with the other half that I'm gonna put in a separate pot. And if you hold on just a minute, you'll see exactly what I'm gonna be doing. All right, so I'm gonna just take, I have a pot right here to the other side, and I'm gonna take half of this pot, and I'm gonna make sure that one of those bay leaves, which it just dropped in this pot, went to the other pot, that's what I want to make sure. And let's see, okay. And you see we have about half and half, but, oh, there's that other bay leaf. So we're gonna keep that bay leaf in this pot. So we're gonna put another spoonful over in there. And then I'm gonna take and pour, let me get my hand bitten because the pot is hot. The pot is hot. So I'm gonna take the bro some broth because we need some broth in this other pot too. So I'm gonna take and pour some of that over in here. There we go. All right. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Now we're gonna take some of these good old veggies right here. And I'm just gonna put them in there myself because I wanna make sure that we got the same amount of veggies in the pot. I'm excited about these great Northern beans. This is my first time making a great Northern bean stew. So of course I'm doing it Show Us Creations way. So we'll pour the rest of these in here. And in here. All right. So now we got everything in here that needs to go in here. And now all we gotta do now is just let the veggies cook in. Cause it's not gonna take as long for the veggies to cook. And look at that, you guys. See that? Now what I'm gonna do, I know y'all saw earlier, y'all saw me with the um, extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and put my tablespoon of oil in there and also in the other pot. We're gonna do it a stir. The other pot, I'm gonna let it cool down and I'm gonna freeze it. But this pot right here, we are going to be eating this pot of goodness at P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K. Eating good in a neighborhood. Oh yeah. See you guys in a few. All right, you guys. So look at the finished Northern. Mm, mm, mm. The finished great Northern beans with the carrots, potatoes, and the onions. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm -mm. Don't forget to join us at the table at P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K. Oh yeah. Eating good in the neighborhood. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Mmm, steamy goodness. Oh yeah.